here we are at Talladega Super Speedway to kick off the string of Super Speedway races here for the Aaron's 499 under the lights. On pole is Isaac, Isaac Nichols, two is outside, Henry Moore Sports teammate, Eli Brent, the 88. Then third, you have Colton Neal, fourth, Kyle Perry, your points in rang out the top five is Carter Friesen. Then sixth, you have Grayson Thompson, seventh, Alexander Rowe, eighth, Marcus Sachi, ninth, TJ Hanley, Steve Larkin rang out the top ten. Then for us, we got Williams Hewen, two is inside, Justin Zidell. They have Andrew Miller and Jake Galloway. On with Riley Spray, two, then Justin Heath, then Daniel Lopez and Jonathan Buford. Jeff Brighton and Joe Jefferson, along with Steve Morgan and Griffin Lynn. Then Emmett Juckum and Tim Randolph, Levi Shones and Jonathan Raines. Then Lawrence Poundpon, Michael Canto, Nathan Stapleton, and then Alex Stewart. Max Anderson, Jay Jefferson. Stewart Grant, who won the All-Star so he's in to the chase no matter what. Michael Gregory in the set, 17. They have Carson Bowers, who won at Daytona, so the last researcher plate tracks are raced on. Bowers won. Luke Rain will be twos outside. They have Trey Rainey and Co. Luigi. David Dewey and Luigi Jack Table rang out the field. Final row. Derek Hamill in the 34. Two is outside the 24 of Brand Tharp. That's just trying to have Isaac Nichols on the pole. He'll lead us to the green flag. Let's go down checks and get the command. In honor of the Highway Patrol 75 years of service, gentlemen, start your engines. Guys, let's go out there and have some fun today. Just like I said, today in the meeting, you know, this is a good racetrack. It's a good place for us. I think the picker is ready to go. Let's go have some fun. From the seventh position, Alexander Rowe pulls down the apron with the problem on the 71. He will probably not be able to take the green flag with the field. However, the car is rolling, so if he can get down pit road, he possibly might not lose a lap. He might be off the pace out of the draft. So how about that? Hedrick Morris will sweep in the front row with the 48-88 chop. Nichols will lead him to the green flag. Eli Brett will be to the outside. Then behind them, Colton Yo and Kyle Perry have had some history this season in the Gary Cup Series. Perry ended up spinning Yo in the final laps of the Las Vegas race which ended both their chances of winning. So, man, oh, man, a lot of drivers up towards the front have some relation to one another. Let's see how this race turns out. 29 laps, very long race at Talladega for the Aaron's 499. Let's kick off this wild stretch of the season. No one's safe to get into the chase besides Stuart Grant in the 56. Here they come to the tri-oval. Start, finish, and we're past the, the tri-oval as they come down into the restart zone. Nichols hits the box to the restart zone. Green flag in the air. We're racing at Talladega. Boy, Eli Bright got a monstrous push on the outside lane from Kyle Perry. Ends up clearing and leading now at Talladega. The, re the start of the race is under review. Eli did beat I think goes to the start finish line. So we'll see, did the 88 jump the start or not? So they race through three and four. And off of four they come. Eli Bright leading the train. Colton Young in the 15 behind here comes Car Friesen and TJ Hanley fanning out three and four wide in the pack. Through the trial where they come. Reese, or the star of the race is good. Eli Bright leads lap one at Talladega in the number 88 National Guard Chevrolet. How fast they're going down to the corners. They're finally starting to get up to speed here. Oh, close back there. They're almost five wide as they hit one and two down the back stretch. They get pretty crazy here at Talladega in a hurry. Eli Bright still up front leading, got a, great re got a great start of the race and got away. Justin Zidell and Griffin Lynn now bow for the second position. Tim Randolph pushing that 36, John Spearford pushing the 92. Good run there for Griffin Lynn through three and four onto the back bumper of the 88 as they come off of four. Moves up high, now moves to the bottom lane. Here we go for the race. They're gonna go three wide. Tim Randolph all the way to the WL line. And he has the drafting up from the four. Jonathan B first. They come down through the tri-oval to the start finish line. Lap two will be led by Randolph. And now they're gonna go four wide for the racing. Jonathan B for the big move to the bottom of the number four. Well, that is one big move. Four wide early on this race. Up inside the top 10. Jonathan B for clears. Here comes Levi Shones in the number 14. Down the back stretch, trying to get in front of the 09 Michael Cannon to get a push. There's the 5 of Jeff Bright, the 30 of Alex Stewart as well. Jones with a great push in the 09. Oh, around they go in the back. They save it. Some of them do, but some wrecking. The 7 has gone right. William Seaman as well, and the yellow will come out for a very small incident at the back of the pack. Here they come racing back. Jones out in front. It's the battle for second. And a lot of cars got away with that one. Here they come. They're going to go three wide to the stripe. As behind them, they're five wide stacked up. To the stripe they come. 
back in front. Believe it might have been Cantor on the bottom. Michael Cantor on the bottom does lead them back to the yellow flag. As caution number one comes out early on for a spin in the back involving Riley Spirley to Williamson and that saves Alexander Ruff for going to lap down. I believe he is still on the lead lap. Yes, he is. He'll be back in this race, back in contention for a win. So let's see what happened to the 7 and the 6. Some others involved the 56 of Stuart Grant, possibly I saw the 47 of Kyle Perry got some damage as well. So let's see how caution number one was caused. Hit there, heading down the back stretch. It might just get a little too clustered right here, possibly. Watch the 7, the 47, and the 6 right there. And it looks like Stapleton and Spirley 2 are rubbing on each other. Yeah, they just rubbed on each other too much. They go up, they get Kyle Perry. Perry gets sideways, ends up saving the car. And then Seaman and Spirley end up going around. Stuart Grant, a great job. Oh, we clipped right there. But I don't know if that car is going to be slow. Uh, all those guys pretty much did a, uh, a great job getting minimal damage to that. I believe the most damage right here to the 7 and the 47, possibly the 6 as well. But otherwise... I really don't think any of these guys are going to have damage that might take... They might be slower and might be off pace, but I don't know if... Uh, I don't know about that either. Let's go on board Stuart Grant. He won the All-Star He's into the chase, so this doesn't really matter to him. He just wants a win now. I, d I don't see any damage to the cosmetic part, so he should be good. Michael Gregory in the 17 has an on board. Season number four champion able to miss this one. Oh, that was a great save right there up ahead. Luke Rainey and was that Dare Camel made some contact. They do a great job of saving their cars, keeping themselves in the race as well. Back in front, it was the 09 Michael Cantor made a bold three eyed move to get to the stripe in front. Hilly is back to the green flag. Out front in the Aaron's 499 at Talladega. Coming back around lap number eight, Michael Cantor still out front. Every car still left in the race. Some cars came down pretty road like the six, the two, the 47, the seven, trying to repair some damage as they will be at the back of the pack. Out front, Michael Cantor on the 09. Second will be John Buford. Third, Levi Schoen, Jeff Bright, fourth. Tim Randolph, fifth. Then Alex Stewart, sixth. Griffin Lynn, seventh. Jonathan Reigns, eighth. TJ Henley, ninth. Diego Gapez rounds out the top ten. So they come into the trioval. Get into that restart zone. Michael Cantor on the 09 out front. John Buford behind him in second. They come down to that restart zone. Green flag back waving. We're back racing the Aaron's 499 at Talladega. Gonna take some time for them to get back up to speed. And look at Buford already with a move. That was a great move by the four. He laid back just a little bit, got a good enough run to get to the inside. He's gonna get by the 09 through one and two. Wow, great move by Buford. And Jonathan Buford does clear, so he's now your new race leader at Talladega. It's gonna take about a lap, lap and a half for them to get back up to full speed over 190 miles an hour because of these restrictor plates. They come down the back stretch. Cars fanning out already, trying to get into that draft, trying to get up to the front. Cars moving out of line everywhere. Meanwhile, Jonathan Buford still out front leading. And he's kind of pulling away from that side-by-side -side battle. It's really slowing those guys down, but once they get back to speed, that draft going to propel everyone back together. They come off a of four. Shones moves up to the middle lane. Cantor goes all the way up as well. Shones keeps clear. The 92 trying to keep clear. The 29 can't get it done. And I heard they come down into the tri-oval. Buford leads that lap with a 14 given chase. Levi Schoen has a pretty fast car today. Showing. 16, gig up to the third position of Steve Larker, Justin Zeidel, Eli Bright, Carter Friesen on the bottom lane, Colton Yo as well. There's the night Justin Heath, the 31 of Andrew Miller as well. They race down the back stretch. Here comes Steve Larker for that second position. He has a huge run. He might get to the race lead. He has a big push. Oh man, the outside lane's not formed up. And look at the 16 with a push from that 20. We'll get all the way to the race lead in three and four. That inside line was very, very organized, formed up greatly, and it showed with that big push. They come off a of four. Eli Bryant, the 88, now moving down. Has Carter freezing behind him. Colton Young not going to move to the bottom lane, put the 99 in the middle. Eli Bryant gets the second. Look at him going for the race lead now. Remember, he got that great jump early on, got to the race lead. Now he's going back for the race lead in turn one. He has no, no drafting up down low, though. The 20 giving the help to the 16 up top. With the 88 powering off the corner with no help. A very strong car for Eli Price. He clears, but Larker's coming back on the outside lane. Pretty even as they come down the back in terms of speed. Just need pulling out of line. Three wide, four third. As they stay side by side between Steve Larkin and Eli Bright for the race lead, as they stay three by three behind them. Eli's gonna clear this time off a of four. 
The 88 National Guard Chevrolet back out front, but not too fast. Here comes Justin e to the bomb. The 88 tries to come down and cover the spot. Andrew Miller in the 31 as well. Eli finally clear the 16 and will lead a lap. Miller, Emma Juckum, gonna make a four wide for a second. This could get ugly right here. Man, oh man, they're four wide everywhere. Here they come off of two, down the back stretch. Juckum has cleared now, he's to second. And there's just nowhere to go if you're in that pack. You're just stuck pushing. Some of those guys back there slower. They're hoping for a caution to try and get caught back up. Possibly they were caught behind some of the slower cars. Like the 7, the 6, they're off pace. The 47 as well. These two possibly were just caught behind them. They have to try and get back up there. And a caution could definitely come out at any point here. Oh, whoa, that's some checking up right there. The 78, Jay Jefferson's heading to the pits with an issue on the 78. Jefferson is head down pit road. We're hearing a vibration on the 78 car. It's going to take him out of that lead pack. And has got to hope for a caution before he goes a lap down. Three wide now for the race league. Griffin in the 36. Brand Tharp in the 24 behind them. Here comes Michael Gregory in the 17. Eli Bright fades on the top. Chuck him in the middle. Lynn gets clear as they come down the back. He'll move up. Here comes Tharp now to the bottom. That uh, 24 looks pretty fast. Now that's kind of sp spread the field out just a little bit. As cars had to check up for that. Let's hope that second pack can get caught back up. Tharp right onto the back tail. Get that 36. Gregory, Marcus Sachi in the bottom lane. Here comes the knife. Just need Isaac Nichols. Your pulse there coming back up to the front. Number 48. Here they come through the tri-oval. Two cars clear and pull away. Tharp right on the back tailgate of the 36. Marcus Sachi in the 43 going for third. Just need now looking for third. Jay Jefferson will come out of the pits and get lapped. Not what the 78 team wanted to see. They were hoping for a caution before they went lap down. They will not get the 78 now one lap down in the Last position, 42nd. Now Heath trying to carry his momentum up. Nichols going to try and get up there and help his teammate Tharp to get to the race lead. He has a push from the... Whoa, Heath with a big move down for the 48. That's for second. And that could have caused a crash. Luckily, he was clear. He got down to the bottom, and that was a great move there. Wow. And Griffin Lynn doing a great job out front, blocking all those lanes, trying to stay out in front. Andrew Miller, the last car in this pack, but there's the double zero with Lou Jack Table trying to get caught up. As Steve Morgan looks three wide for a second. Levi Shones in the 14 pushing him. Jonathan Beeford, here comes Shones, now four wide for a second. Levi Shones, his car is pretty fast as well. He's making a, some big moves here and he's making it work. The sun, right there. Look at this long back stretch that they come down. Now that second pack, they could get organized. It possibly could run down this front pack. The double zero on the 38. They really need help, though. So here comes Shones now for the race lead. 14 car run. He's going to take it to the bomb. Michael Canto, TJ Henley trying to get to him. Diego Gapez in the A7 as well. He won the clash. So he's no stranger again to victory land these super speedway races. Here comes Canto now to the bomb lane. The 09. TJ Henley's going to make it four wide. Is that for the race lead? Yes, it is. Four wide for the race lead. Henley, a big move to the bomb. Does he make it work? A big push from the inside lane behind. Griffin Lynn trying to get clear in the 36. He does. Lynn back by. And he's back out front of Talladega. Oh, car dropped down the apron. Who is that? Car slow on the apron. So the 29 John Threens from the 19th position. He's also in the front pack. Now he has an issue. He's coasting down the back stretch. If he doesn't make it back around, it's the caution going to come out. Still green for now. We're still racing. But my, oh my, how that has kind of split the pack even more. It's allowed the double zero, though, to close in with Lou Jack Tavo. Close back there, getting really close. Jeff Bright has lost the draft. Or he's trying to at least catch back up. Two cars once again pull away. Griffin and TJ Hanley. We're still green flag racing for now, but does the caution count as the 29 stopped? I believe the 29 has gotten back to pit road. But that's going to take Jonathan Reigns now out of contention for this race. Look at Palampon looking low. Block the 16 of Steve Larker down the back stretch. He's going to be going for the race lead. Larker going to take it though. Here he comes to the bottom. Colton on the 15 with the push from Justin Zed down. Michael Gregory as well. Larker three wide down low. Yeah, no one really has help. The second row was not close enough to get help. But the 36 falls back in the outside lane. Steve Larker has the inside to his advantage. Here comes Colton Yo to the bottom. 
So many cars seem like they're the best cars here today. But my, oh my, it's going to come down to timing and where you are in the pack. Colton Yell leads, leads that lap. Here comes Justin Dye down the 20. Michael Gregory in the 17. Emma Chuckum in the 1. They're on the bottom lane. They're trying to get up front and lead. Now down the back stretch. Here comes Gregory in the 17. The 1 of Emmett Chuckum. Gregory. Does he move up to the middle? The one, gonna move all the way down low, but the 20 has some great drafting up up top from Justin Zydell, has Colton Yo his pusher. Zydell gets clear in three and four. The 20 car out front, but can he get down from the one? Emma Juckum has a run, no he couldn't. Juckum with a great run right there. Staying side by side of that 20 as they come off a of four. Here comes Marcus Sachi in the 43. He'll look to the bottom lane. Brand Thorpe in the 24. From the 42nd starting position as his teammates start on the front row. Here he is into contention. Late in this race, the 24 car, Brandon Tharp showing signs of speed. Louis Jack Taylor, remember we talked about how he's just on the edge of this pack. Here he is now inside the top 10, going for a top 5 spot. Jeff Bright's caught back up, but the pack behind, they're really going to need some big help if they want to get caught back up. Look at down the back stretch. The 99 Carter Friesen moving out of line. He's going to the bottom in three and four. Carter Friesen going to take the race lead. Louis Jack Tavo's pusher. Just Ethan the nine. Here comes Jeff Ryan the five. Another Hendrick Moore Sports Chevrolet. Hendrick's had some fast cars all night long. Jeff Bright's really been the guy we haven't seen much from. But here he comes four wide for that second position. The five car. And look at the lead that Carter Friesen has. That's not good at Talladega though. You do not want a big lead. Fly by into turn one. 11 laps to go. They'll see 10 to go this time. Jeff Bright up into contention down the second position. Steve Morgan up to third. Nichols the pole center coming back. The five blocks of 13 down the back stretch. And we'll go for the race lead. But Steve Morgan has other plans. He'll move to the top trying to help the 9 9. But the five has left from his teammate down low. Almost squeezing into the fence back there. The 31, the 24 almost made contact. They get that sword out. Now Hendrick Morrisports leads 1-2 as Jeff Bright and Isaac Nichols get clear up front. Come and see 10 laps to go. Caution has come out. I see the caution lights. Oh, there's a wreck in 3 and 4. There are cars upside down everywhere. Stapleton, one of them. Was that the second? I believe the second pack just wrecked. And the yellow flag with 10 laps to go. And this can make it interesting. Jeff Bright led them back. And my, oh my, it's going to be about six laps to go, possibly five, six laps to go when we get the green. Oh, did Gregory just get spun right there? Oh, and they wrecked again. More cars. Gregory just got spun and some others got into it. I believe Louis Jack Tavo is one of them. Colton Young, the 15. Stuart Grant come flying and hope he can get that slowed down. Oh, he might not. Oh, he did, but do it ran to the back of the third. There was a mess on the back. There's cars trying to get caught. Cars just... Coming in there and hitting hard. Donovan Dewitt has a ton of damage to his car. Kyle Perry and here come some others in it. Luke Rainey, William Seaman have gotten spun around the back stretch because cars could not slow up. My, oh my. How did this crash start though? This was in the second pack. Bowers, Rowe, Anderson have damage. How did this crash start? It was in the second pack, the smaller pack. Down the back stretch in the second pack. They needed a caution, but... They didn't want it to be themselves. The 22 and the 7 went rubbing at each other. They get down onto the apron, onto the front. Look at this. Right here, through the grass. And then they're trying to control their cars. They can't try and slow it down. They come right up into Galloway. The 71 flipped once he gets back up. Oh my gosh. Some hard flips right there. Anderson up off the ground. The 22 actually gets away and all that. But man, look at the cars that are riding on each other upside down. 83 on his side as he comes down the track. The 71 upside down. See, now it goes flipping the 83 as well, going flipping hard through the grass. And this brings out a yellow flag. There comes some cars flying in that hit. Both those cars land on all four wheels. Look at this in real time. Then we'll go see some other views. Right there, they're rubbing. Ro and Don Viduc go down to the apron through the grass and then trying to get their cars slowed. They just can't in time. That 71 took some very nasty rolls. The 83, the same there. 18, Trey Rain, 39, Joe Jefferson won the last race out. Looking to try and get back to victory lanes. Won three this season. Trying to get up into the top 20 to use his, his wins to get into the chase. And then they came back and the 17 got spun around. Michael Gregory, how did this happen? Let's see, they're getting it slowed down. They've gotten it slowed down. Gregory didn't give Colton Yo. Oh, he was trying to avoid whatever was happening right there. That was two separate incidents. 
See the 32 of Lawrence Poundpon, the 42 of Code Luigi, and then they were trying to. Right. Yeah, right there. Oh, Freezing got some heavy damage in that as well. And then this caused a huge stack. Of cars are in the middle of the track now going slower. The 22 comes in. He'll rear in the 38. Some others will come in. They'll hit hard. Here comes the 22. Do it. He's going to get into the 38, I believe, of Alex Stewart. And right here and here comes some other cars. Kyle Perry come flying in. The two. Yeah, these guys are going way too fast for under caution. You could get caught, but maybe when you have about five laps to get caught up. You know, yeah, Luke Rain just came and nailed them. I don't know if the brakes weren't working on that too or something, you know. You don't really run the best brakes at Super Speedway tracks, but man, man, should have possibly just gotten down low there and out of the way. And that brings out the caution. The five of Jeff Bright, your race leader. Hilly is back to the green flag. He's trying to hold on for his second win of the season at the Talladega Super Speedway. But man, it's anyone's race up in this front pack. Coming back green on lap 24. It'll be six laps to go. So we have a... a Potential of one caution flag that could come out if it comes within the lap after the restart. John Thrain's four laps down. He can hopefully gain these positions of the cars that retired. Carson Bowers is out. Alexander Rowe. Max Anderson. Tim Ranoff. Trey Rainey. Jake Galloway. Joe Jefferson. Nathan Stapleton. William Seaman. Luke Rainey. And Dom Duke. Jay Jefferson up to the 30th position, but one lap down. 29 cars left on the lead lap in the race, but some of them have damage at the back. Jeff Bryant, the five, leads to the green flag. Jonathan Buford in second. Isaac Nichols, third. Andrew Miller, fourth. Steve Morgan rounds out the top five. Shones. Heath. Kanto, Tharp, Yepes, round out the top 10. They hit the restart zone. Green flag back out for Jeff Bright. We're back racing at Talladega. Six laps of racing to go. Going to take some time for them to get up to speed. Here comes Shones and some others already peaking low. Where do you want to be in these final laps? Do you want to be leading? Do you want to be further back? Question everyone's asking themselves right now. Here comes Buford. He wants to lead down the back stretch. Nichols going with him. Everyone abandons to the bottom lane. Look at everyone going low. Nichols going to take it all the way to the bottom. Miller, where's that 31 go? Goes to the bottom with Nichols. Two Chevys lined up on the bottom. Three now. Sean's coming into the mix. Nichols leads off a of four. He moves up. Here comes Andrew Miller to the bottom lane. Sean's going to look to the yellow line. Big moves being made. Shones has the track to come for the 13 and the 9. To the strike they come. Five laps to go. If the yellow comes out, the race is over. We talked about that because look how they're racing at the front. Oh, the Ford Beaver just blew up. John the Beaver's blowing up on the apron. It slowed some cars down. Oh, are they wrecking in the back? I heard cars spinning and wrecking. The yellow will come out. Freezing is hit hard with Kyle Perry. That will end the race. They're racing back down the stretch. Shones trying to block off all lanes. Here comes Just Ethan the 9. Michael Cantor as well. Miller back up into contention. It's going to take a big move off of 4. Who's, can Heath make it? Here they come off of 4. Does Heath go way left? No, he's going to go high. No contest for Shones. Come around and see 4 laps to go. He's going to win a Talladega. Third win of the season. Shones gets back in front. Can he hold on for 3 laps? 4, excuse me. He's going to have to hold on for 4. That's it, the race is over. The race is over. Freezing was wrecked. And that's getting the race. That was at the... Oh, another car blowing up. The 29 again with an issue. Range with more bombs on the 29. He was four laps down. Came to pit row with an issue. And it possibly just let go right there. The issue was probably that. That just happened. How did the 99 get smothered? Car freezing was nowhere near the front, and they collected the 47 Perry who was hit hard. And both those drivers take some nasty spills. Let's see how this crash happened. Freezing somehow spun around at the back of the field. This is an interesting wreck, I must say. There's the 70 of Jay Jefferson. He goes down, and he just clips the 99 of Carter freezing up into the wall. Hard they go. Freezing spins around. The caution comes out right there. Gregory in the 17. Freezing's teammate gets on the brakes. And I believe he missed the 99. There's the four blowing up with Jonathan Beeford. Then the 99 car freezing coming down the track. Kyle Perry in the 47 trying to get low. And then the 99 comes right down into his path and driver's side hard. Impact. And once again, car freezing takes a nasty, nasty crash. The 47 as well. Kyle Perry, your points leader. Not what he was looking for. As that might take him out of the points, or at least going to close his points lead down. What a hard hit right there. I don't know why the 78 was as low as he was. Look, he just turns down, clips it in and hard. And Friesen takes a nasty ride once again. So Gary Cup Series has not been Friesen's 
good luck series as man, man he's taking some nasty rides and that's gonna end the race shones possibly it's just one as we would have loved to see it end under green but that happens shones back in front he's possibly gonna win we'll come back and see the checkered flag waving for levi shones well here it is as they come through the trial levi shones is gonna outlast the field He'll win at Talladega. It'll be his third win of the season and some big momentum hanging into these next Super Speedway races. SHR now has six wins across two drivers. Each of them at three. Checkered flag in the air. Levi Schultz in the 14 gets up front at the right time and will win the Aaron's 499 at Talladega. As the late race crash happened, it ends up with that. Number 14 in victory lane, Levi Schoen's your winner at Talladega. Let's go check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the Aaron's 499 at Talladega. There are three caution flags for 12 laps and 12 lead changes among 12 different drivers. So many drivers left the most laps. Levi Schoen's one of them that tied for it, leading five laps, ending up winning. Justin Heath ending up second. Michael Cantos also led five laps. He ends up third. Steve Morgan fourth. Andrew Miller fifth. Pole Sarah Isaac Nichols ends up 6th, Eli Bright 7th, Jeff Riles led 5 laps and 8th, so Hedrick Marksport 6th, 7th, 8th, and then the 24 ends up 17th. 9th was Justin Zydell, and running out the top 10, Steve Larker. So there's your top 20. Brandon Thorpe, remember we said started 42nd, 17th, decent day, but he was up towards the front for a lot of the race, just fell back there on the restart along with some of these other drivers. Yeah, that, that, late, uh, that, late, <laughs> that late race crash definitely uh, took some people by surprise. As 26 cars end up finishing the race on the lead lap, 27 end up finishing the race running as Jay Jefferson ends up 27th lap down. Buford a, with a header issue along with Jonathan Rains late in that race. Kyle Perry and Car freezing up because of that crash. And the rest of these drivers also involved in that big crash uh, that brought out the caution that kind of got everyone back together. And then that other caution came out. So now let's go look at the point standings. Just about halfway through the season, here are the point standings. Kyle Perry in the 47 keeping it. But it has closed down as Jeff Bright had a great finish here tonight. Bright now up to second, 72 points back. Stuart Grant falls to third, but only 78 back. Cole Luigi is now fourth, Griffin Lynn fifth. Then Jonathan Rains in sixth, Luke Rainey seventh, Michael Canto eighth, Lee Jack Table ninth, and Carter Friesen who went on to a top 10 spot. He's 10th. So there's your top 20. Levi Shones, third win of the season up to 11th. He almost has a wild card spot guaranteed as long as he stays in the top 20. Three wins this season. Not many more drivers can match that. And then the other wild card, as of now, Diego Yepes in the 87. He has it by 13 points over Tim Randolph. Some of the drivers in the top 20 with the win. Just Neath in the 9. Riley Spirou Tube in the 7. Brandon Tharp in the 24. All within the top 20 with a victory. But once again, don't count out that Stuart Gunn could possibly fall so many positions and points down below 10th that he would lock up a wild card spot. So you can't count that out either. And then we look down 21st to 4th, Jay Jefferson 21st. There's another winner, Jonathan Buford, he's 22nd. Joe Jefferson is 29th now. He got up to 25th after his win. Now another bad race, down to 29th. He has three wins. He needs to use those three wins to get up into the top 20 and get a wild card with his teammate Levi Shones. Can he do it? It's going to be interesting. I don't know. Yeah, man, some of these drivers down here just not having the seasons they want. They need some great luck to happen to them to try and make the chase now some of these sheriffs down here like carson bowers nathan stapleton michael gregory marcus Hutchinson, they might be just be going for wins now and hope and pray that maybe they can make the chase so we mentioned it's the super speedway swing next one will be at daytona for the pepsi 400 it's gonna be even wilder see you guys then